Muhammad Yunus is the founder of Grameen Bank, a village bank in Bangladesh that gives small credits to the poor. What is unique about Grameen Bank is its focus on lending only to women. Throughout the developing world, women are vital economic players. Women now represent 40% of the global labour force, 43% of the world's agricultural labour force and represent more than half the world's university students. And yet pervasive gender inequalities in countries such as Bangladesh still exact a high cost on women. Their potentials are often limited by their traditional role in the society, thus limiting their roles in a productive economy. This is where Mohammed Yunus and his Grameen Bank stepped in. Women, as the nurture of the family, when unable to create a livelihood, will not only lift herself, but the whole family out of poverty. Moreover, women are proven to be more responsible when handling resources and dealing with finances. Research and experience show that societies that empower women experience faster economic growth, manage their public resources more effectively, and benefit from greater agricultural productivity and improved food security. And you, you see by allowing women to have access to finance, access to capital, access to uh, the means for them to actually generate an income, that has taken families out of poverty. Yes, that's what the, you know, also helps them. They take loans, they improve their income, and they also open a savings account. So their money grows in the savings account. It's a two-pronged thing. One, you build up your own deposits, own savings, mm -hmm. and you also take loan to earn income. And then send your children to school. And the Grameen Bank gives loans for education so that they can go take degree, higher education degrees. They become engineers, mm -hmm. they become doctors, they become professional people. So it's a simultaneous thing. While you are working with the mothers, at the same time we are encouraging to build up the second generation the young kids who are growing up in those families so that they can grow into becoming much more confident and much more better of uh, people within the family. So the microcredit uh, model, or the microfinancing model is actually better, much more efficient and effective if it's made more accessible to women as opposed to men. Very much. We, wherever microfinance idea has spread in the world, mm -hmm is always focusing on women. That's what I was explaining. When we say Grameen Bank type microcredit, that's what we meant. And we always try to give the benefit to the borrowers. Mm -hmm. We have not created microfinance to make money for ourselves. So this is all designed to help poor people get out of poverty. Because women are more responsible when it comes to borrowing money and paying back. Any incidents of non-performing loans or? Very little, very little. It's a, Our repayment rate has remained very high, 97%, 98%. Uh, when we say repayment rate, it means people who paid back the loan within the specified time. Mm -hmm. If it is one year, they paid back in 97% of the case on time. And the one that uh, people who could not pay back on time, they are paying back uh, one year later, or uh, two months later, one month later, after one year is completed. Mm -hmm. So when you're giving women loans, in effect, you're, you're not just helping families to have income or revenue, but you're also having, helping the children have education. That's you know, right. Helping children, you know, have access to better health and so That's on. That's right. So. Yeah. Um, so, but there are many other types of microfinancing and micro credits that like you said, you know, the, the loan sharks are high interest rates. So do you see your model being uh, copied uh, around the world? Is this, is this something that uh, other countries are using in order to tackle poverty? Yes, it has been copied. Uh, microcredit, our type, I mean bank type, has been copied all over the world. But uh, the idea of micro, uh, microcredit has been also misused, uh, even abused. Uh, people who took this idea and created a microcredit program to make money out of the poor people. They raised the interest rate high so that they can make money for themselves. Uh, and we are very much against that because we said microcredit is designed to help poor people, not make money out of the poor people. So that's a kind of abuse of the idea, abuse of the system. That we and many have added things which we thought should not have been done like they are in the name of microcredit mm -hmm. they're giving loans for consumption goods mm -hmm. uh, selling products from other companies uh, by giving them uh, credit and as a result people are buying things which they don't need 
because uh, now yeah, so the marketing you access, exactly you have access to money and yeah, then you start buying things buying things which you don't need and you go into debt burden now well, how is it affecting for example uh, you know Grameen Bank and the efforts in microfinancing that you do because of these abuses uh, it, of yes that abuses is simply what does it brings bad names to the word microcredit uh, they accuse everybody that oh you are making money for yourself which There's is a lot not of moral true hazard that goes the moral with hazards and all that and also they think somebody who's doing it the wrong way everybody is doing the same way so there's a two categories who are mission driven microcredit who are profit making